it's funny when you when you read these articles, especially when you you read the headlines. This is from today from the post. And it says unvaccinated hospital patients in Illinois should pay for their COVID care. And of course, Democrat, right? For all these people that were pushing that health care is a right, right? This is this was the narrative for a while that health care is a right. Only if you back our government, only if you back what we what we stand for. Everything is a right as long as you're on our side. If you're not on our side, well, then you don't have that right. And it's funny when you look at this article, people might be sitting here thinking, well. Well, I would be like, shoot, if this is the case. Then I'm not paying taxes for the, the vaccinated, because if you get vaccinated and you still got to go in there, well, I'm not paying for your services. But this this would be this should be the narrative of those who don't want to take it. And I would just be like, well, shoot, you're not going to charge me taxes. And so they threaten you. What, what, when you look at these articles, this is all they're threatening you with freedom. That's what they do. They're like, if you don't take it, you're not going to be a wage slave anymore. We're going to force you not to be a wage slave. And that's what scares most people. Instead of being like, all right, I'll just go start my own business. Well, you're not going to be able to travel within the state. You're not going to be able to go to the movies. But I guess I get to, get to save money. I don't need to go to the movie theaters. Not, I'll just I'll just download it. I'll just be like, I'll just download that shit. If that's the route that you want to go, you won't be able to eat at our restaurants. Oh, what you're saying is I won't be able to get fat? I won't be able to eat out and eat all this fatty food? Oh, my God. What a nightmare. But this is what, again, for people who have the minds of slaves, what they threaten you with is freedom. This is basically, this is basically what they do, right? They would just be like, well, you're going to have to pay your own way. You have to pay for your own care. Instead of the state taking responsibility for you, the state says, well, yeah, you're going to be responsible. You're going to be responsible for your own care. If you get COVID, I'd be like, shoot, fine. I want that. Give me that dose of ivermectin. I'll take that vitamin Z, the zinc. And you know what? Toss in some uh, some antibodies, some myocolonal antibodies, and we'll call it a day. And then they'll be like, oh, can't do that. We can't do that. It's, it's illegal. And I'd be like, all right, I guess I got to go someplace else. And this is what they threaten you with. They threaten you and they say, well, you can't be in our lefty cities. All right. Fine by me. I ain't, there ain't no loss there. You can't come to New York. Big fucking deal. Ain't nothing worth going into New York for anyway. They just completely killed New York. So why would I care? You can't come to Chicago. You can't come to Minneapolis. All right. You can't come to fucking California. You can't come to commie Florida. I'd be like, all right. I'm, I'm sorry I won't be able to witness all the poverty as California has the highest number. Of unemployed people. I won't be able to see all the homeless on the street. Oh, damn. You got me. Go ahead. Give me the experimental clot shot. And it's just, this is what, this is what they threaten you with. They threaten you with freedom. So what do you choose? And it's funny, like when you, when I look at these articles and all I read in these type of articles is personal responsibility. This is what the government says. If you don't take it, you're going to be responsible for yourself. You're going to have to start your own business. You're going to have to start your own job. You're going to be your own boss. You sure you want to be your own boss? It's pretty comfortable getting a wage slave. I mean, we only take 50%. We, you still get to keep the other 50. And I'll be like, you know what? Maybe this ain't that bad of an idea. Maybe it's not that bad of an idea that I go out there and start my own business. So I'm not tied to this. No experimentation? Well, I, I, all I got to do is just start my own business. I don't get experimented on. right? It's just like same thing with the kids, right? The solution is freedom. They were like, you can't come to our indoctrination camps that we call public education. I'm like, all right, I guess I got to homeschool my kid. What do they threaten you with? They threaten you with freedom. They threaten you with personal responsibility. And this is why I say that these people offer nothing in, in to society. There will be people who will, who will be like, oh, I don't want to be responsible for paying for it. I, I might get sick. Won't the government pay for me? I'm like, all right. We'll pay for you, but you got to take this experimental injection every three months. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. What else do I got to do? Can I be a wage slave? Can I be a wage slave? Please, please. I don't want to go out there and start my own business. Pretty please. I'm like, all right, all right. We'll only take we'll only take forty five percent, right? We'll take forty five percent. I'm feeling generous. We'll let you keep fifty five percent of what you earn. And they're like, oh, thank you, thank you. 
Can I go to McDonald's? Yes, yes, you can go to McDonald's. Don't worry about it. You can go to McDonald's. You can have super size, get your happy meals, get all you want, right? Go get your, your, your Shake Shacks. Go right ahead. And this is what they this is what they threaten the average dipshit normie with. They threaten them with freedom and personal responsibility. And the moment you say that, people just become fearful. They what do you mean? I gotta be responsible for myself. I gotta take responsibility for my own health. I gotta hit the gym. That's not fair. That's what is it? You're, you're body shaming me. What do you mean I gotta get in shape because I'm more likely to get sick? That's not right. Somebody needs to take care of me. It's like that picture. It was that video a long time ago. Where you got like that black lady and she's got like 15 kids. And she's like, somebody needs to take, somebody needs to be held accountable for all this. And this is the narrative of socialists. This is what, this is what freedom is a threat to your average socialist. Personal responsibility is the cross, like a vampire, to a, a cross to a vampire, right? It's the holy water. Thou shalt be free. And they're like, no. And that's why you look at all these fat, you know, these morbidly obese people, and they're they're all for the clot shot. They're all for the government enforcing you, because their ability to exist hinges on you producing for them. These people are consumers, and they need you to produce for them. And so the only way that the government can do that is via slavery. And whether it's mental slavery, emotional slavery, debt slavery, physical slavery. But what we have is we have guilt, coercion, and debt slavery with the threat of freedom. This is what they say to you. It's dangerous out there. You sure you want to be free? You sure you want to start your own business? Nine out of ten fail. Nine out of ten businesses fail. But they don't tell you why nine out of ten businesses fail. They just, hey, it's, just a, it's just a make it's a spooky, right? Nine out of ten businesses fail. You sure you want to start your own business? You sure you want to do that? You want to homeschool your kid? You want to take responsibility for homeschooling your kids? Ooh. This is what they do to you. This is what they do to you. They threaten you with personal responsibility and freedom. And if you're okay with that, that's why for people who, who love freedom, they'll just be like, all right, I don't need to go to your city. I don't need to go to your town. I'll go to where I can be free. And then uh, racism, white supremacy. Toxic masculinity. You're like pick your, pick your narrative, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Pick pick whatever narrative you want. They'll just insert it. Whatever whatever fits. Whatever will fit at the moment. If the white if white supremacy doesn't work, if the anti-vaxxer doesn't work, if uh, toxic masculinity don't work, they're like, what can we fall back on? What haven't we used yet? New variant. Oh, we got a new variant. And it's just like insert whatever whatever we can use. To sort of coerce people into providing for us. This is what they are. These people produce nothing. These people produce nothing who are complying with this. They're not producers. They're consumers. And they require your enslavement to produce for them so that they can continue on living. Because they know the calling is coming. If you choose to walk away from the system of things and you say, you know what? I'm not about this game anymore. Go off and build your own shit. Go off and produce your own food. These people will starve. And they know that, which is why they use force via the government to enslave you. But you have the ability to defend yourself. You still have the ability, as long as there's a Second Amendment, as long as you have the right to bear arms. As, and all you need is a community of like-minded individuals large enough to push back. So that when push comes to shove and the state threatens you with freedom, I'd be like... All right, I guess I'll go get me some ivermectin. Good luck. Good luck with your with your quarterly shots. Good luck getting your quarterly shots and whatever else that they're going to throw at you. But you have to be willing to take personal responsibility. It's what I've said for quite some time, that this is what it all comes down to. Do you want to be personal responsible for yourself or not? Because this is literally what they're telling you and stuff like this. You don't even have to read the article. All, the, all, all this is is threats of personal responsibility and freedom and being held accountable for yourself for a lot of people that's too scary they're just like I, i'd rather be a slave to the government and do whatever they say because i don't want to be responsible for myself you got to take responsibility for yourself you got to be willing and able so that you don't have to deal with this stuff anyway 
That's my thought.